I started to say this is just the beginning of a long afternoon of live sports on ABC. Coming up, the first NCAA college football game of the year. Stanford against Arkansas in Little Rock, Arkansas. So stick around, get comfortable, and enjoy yourself for the next several hours. Well, Poland, Jim, in number 70, is out of the race with a split fuel tank. And Bob Harkey, the number 52, is suffering from a stuck throttle. He's been in and out of the pits in this Hoosier 100, the richest dirt track race in the world, and for many years, the second richest race on the USAC Championship Trail. 100 times around the checkered flag here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, which today, incidentally, has the people spread throughout the infield and in bleachers on the back stretch and in the turns because the main grandstand has been condemned. And there are no spectators in the back half of this gigantic covered main grandstand. It is empty near the top and a strange sight to see. Okay, well, out on the track, it's a very exciting sight right now. From the low camera, you just saw Al Unser go through frame ahead of Sam Sessions and now taking out after A.J. Foyt. 21 laps have gone by. Remember, it's a scheduled 100, and now the sun has come out very bright. This is the way it was earlier today. Then it clouded up, and there was a report of rain about 20 miles from here, but it looks like we're going to be all right. No repeat of Springfield, Illinois, a few weeks ago. Let's hope not, Jim. The sun, of course, is a welcome sight, but it is baking the track and making it even slipperier, which makes it more difficult to be competitive. Andretti is now sixth. A.J. Point, the leader. And there is Andretti passing another car and going into fifth place. So we'll keep an eye on him. The reigning USAC national champion in car number one, Mario Andretti of Nazareth, Pennsylvania, the Italian-born, very personal racing star. That was Bruce Walcott he got by Jim in the Agagenia number 98. A yellow flag, if it should come, would tighten up this field and really set the stage for some tremendously exciting racing. But the interval between the leader and Mario is quite, quite large at this point. Mario Andretti in fifth position, remember. And lots of watermelon in the pits. It's September in Indiana. A nice warm, either, well, call it a late summer or an early autumn day. Take your pick. Technically, it's still late summer, but you can... Uh, 11 Oppenhausers, four Chevrolet engine cars, and three Fords, two of which are double overhead cam jobs, the Unser and Ford machines, and the one Gurney Eagle model in the Andretti car. And the mechanics are going to work now on the car to see just what they can do on the, the federal engineering team from Detroit. But Jimmy Loy Malloy is losing. Who's he after that? Who's in front of him? Oh, uh, Ralph. Ralph. Ralph McCorry. Oldest friend. We're back again live at the Hoosier 100 Automobile Race in Indianapolis, Indiana. This is Jim McKay, and that that you're watching is Mario Andretti. He started 14th on the starting lineup. He is now chasing Ralph Lagori, trying to move into fourth place. Number 58 is Ralph Lagori, a veteran who has never won a race on the championship trail. And there is Andretti after him, going through turn one. We're on lap 39 of uh, a scheduled 100. There have been no yellow flags and no accidents, although a number of cars have dropped out of the competition. Bill Pewterball, number 19, drove off the track middle of the back stretch with his engine giving trouble in the same place went off last year. Jim Mario Andretti is faced with a tough decision. He doesn't know about 1971 whether to continue this kind of racing where he excels in almost every kind of track, dirt track, road course, high bank, speedway, or flat pavement, or go racing in Europe in international Formula One. But while he makes up his mind, he's putting on a great show here, trying to get by Ralph Lagoria number 58. Well, he is. He still hasn't been able to do it. Uh, Andretti, by the way, is in a very new car. In fact, the first race that this dirt track car was in was at Springfield, Illinois, a few weeks ago, and it didn't do very well. Broke down. Uh, it has a Gurney Eagle engine in it, uh, unlike all the other cars in the race. It's very different, and it's taken a little while to shake it down, but today it's going very well as he still chases Ralph McGlory, trying to move into fourth. Remember, he is still for oh, a good almost half of the racetrack, a third of the racetrack behind the leader, A.J. Foyt. That's a long way to go. Ralph Lagore, he's uh, at his best on a dirt track, Jim. He's from Tampa, Florida, and he's a veteran campaigner. He's the oldest driver in the competition, incidentally, at 43 years of age, and has a lot of experience under that helmet of his. We'll see whether Mario, in his early 30s, and America's greatest new racing talent, can get by, and he tries now on the inside, but has to shut off going into the slippery third turn. This was a race that started with a couple of surprise 
people on the first row in the persons of Johnny Parsons Jr. and Sammy Sessions. And there goes Mario Andretti. He's got Ralph Ligori this time. Mario Andretti has moved into fourth place in this race. Two-fifths of the race has gone by. The leader, remember, is A.J. Foyt. I start to say... A.J. is being held up in traffic, and Al Ounce is closing very closely behind him. Oh, he sure is. We're getting a lap timing on the leader, but what's the second place? Oh, he's making a move right now. Moving around a slower car, Bob Harkey. He tried to sneak past A.J. Foyt and Al Unser, and he almost did it. He almost did it. But now he's dropped back a matter of 50 feet behind the leader again. This is real good racing in Indianapolis. It's a great racing town, Jim. Besides the speedway, a two and a half mile great racing plan is this one mile fairground and the yellow flag is out. Park. The yellow flag is out right now. I can't see what the incident was. There doesn't seem to be an accident of any kind. But the, uh, the tow truck is going out on the track. Somebody must have stopped someplace. Darn if I can see them. At any rate, the yellow flag is out, and that could close things up a bit and move Mario Andretti a bit more into contention. Apparently, the uh, track conditions, uh, Jim, at the moment are better for Al Unser in his number two car than they are for A.J. Foyt in his number seven. Well, there's the, the car up against, just up snug against the inside rail, and from our position, uh, with the naked eye, you just can't see it. Uh, it looks like an overheating problem, Jim, and the driver's removing his helmet. They'll take the car off the uh, track and... Already right on the tail of A.J. Foyt, but Mario Andretti in fourth position was a good ways back, but now, you'll see, has gotten a lot closer. That's the red car, if you're watching in color, right there. Car number one, in fourth place, in the standings. It's going to be a lot closer when that green drops than he was before. And the flag man has just said one more lap. He's alerted the field, and the green will come out this time round. Now, we'll see what kind of strategy and which cars will out-accelerate the others. Foyt certainly has no one to be fooled. Al Unser has the same kind of engine in his number two car that Foyt has at number seven. Right behind him is the blue cars, Bob Harkey, number 52, and then there is Sam Sessions, and then... Mario Andretti, very close. It should be an exciting first turn action when this green wave started to shim along, standing there in the middle with the flag now. Situation very simple. What we're going to have here in a minute, it looks like, are the three biggest names in American racing today battling for the lead in the Hoosier 100. The green flag is out, and they'll be racing now. A.J. Foyt out in, out in front, and Freddy is moving down to the inside. Unser right behind A.J. Andretti couldn't get by two of the slower cars in front of him. Andretti's maneuver didn't pay off. It was a bold one, and had it worked, it would have put him right up there with him, Jim, but it just wasn't enough room. However, he is still considerably closer than he was when the yellow one out, and there he goes. Blasting bounce one car, and he'll go after Sammy Sessions, who's in between him and the two leaders. Mario Andretti is in this race now, that's for sure. His temperament, Jim, seems to be a one with his competition. He rallies to the cause. And he sees now that he can taste victory, and he's going to be the man to watch for a while here. Meanwhile, Al Unser is looking like he might make a move on the leader, A.J. Foyt. It's going to be a three-car race. Make no mistake about it. A.J. Foyt leading by a matter of feet over Al Unser. Then you have Sammy Session, and then Mario Andretti. Down the long back straightaway here at this Indiana State Fairground. Andretti should be able to pass Sammy Sessions, remember the substitute driver who got into this race at the last minute because of an injury to another driver last night in a different race. And there it goes, Al Unser going for the lead, going into turn one. Al Unser's got the lead for the first time today. Car number two is out in front of the field. He is a matter of inches ahead of A.J. A.J. not giving him any more room than he has to. A.J. chasing him on the straightaway now. Four Indianapolis wins right there, Jim. Tried three of them by A.J. Foyt and Al Unser, this year's winner of the Indianapolis 500. In a car prepared by...